I want you to imagine for a second that you are about to go in to a critical game, incredibly important game, against a formidable opponent. And then right before the game and the, 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 the pregame speech, the coach lets everybody know that his world-class quarterback is not going to be playing in the game. He's going to be on the bench. And everybody's like, well, why would that be the case? Is he hurt? No, he's not hurt. He's just not going to play in the game. Well, why wouldn't he play in the game? Well, I just think we could possibly win this game without him. So therefore, I'm not going to play him. You would be, you'd be like, this guy's nuts. You got to get him out of here. Why? Because you want the best opportunity to win the game. Isn't it interesting? This is what we do in our own life. We don't pray that God would be with us until we're losing the game. And then from the bench, we're like, hey, God, I need you. I need you. I just, I just think that we should go into every day, I just believe that, and go, God, I can't, I can't win this game without you. By the way, the game that we are playing, you know what Jesus says? You know what he says the enemy is? The enemy has come to kill, steal, and destroy. That's the game you and I play every single day. 